Hi there, it's Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts. I'm a UK-based independent stamping up demonstrator. Thank you very much for joining me again today. Or if this is your first time joining me, welcome. Thank you very much for finding me. So today I'm actually going to have two videos and two blog posts because I am thrilled to say that I have joined the Stampers Showcase Block Hop team. And today we're doing a masculine themed blog hop. So very useful. We have lots of men in our lives and it's really challenging to make a card. So come back later to see that. Today or this morning's video is going to be one of those I'm making it up as I go along and I'm going to use both On to Adventure and Beautiful You. This is actually a two box set. I only need the one but this is the other set. I used this recently for uh, my niece who is really into fashion. She's an amazing an amazing girl. Um, I shouldn't call her a girl, she's 22 now. Um, so yes, I used it for her birthday card. So I thought we've got this character down here who is clearly dancing and this sentiment which is life may not be the party we'd hoped for but while we're here we might as well dance and I thought those two really went well together. So I'm going to make a card using those. Um, I'm starting with a Whisper White card front. Um, all the dimensions and all the information about what I've used will be linked both below, well the what I've used will be linked below and the dimensions will be in the blog post that goes with this and that is linked below. So don't worry about measurements and I'm doing um, International A4 both using inches and centimetres and I'm also going to give you the equivalent dimensions if you were making with North American um, eight and a half by 11. So obviously yours will be a shorter, fatter version, but it's the nearest equivalent to that that I'm doing. So it'll be the same proportions, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to ink her up and pop her down in the bottom right hand corner. Um, I don't need the memento for anything else, so I'll pop that away. I've been having troubles putting things in, things as in fingers, into um, ink pads recently. So I'm not going to do it. I'm going to deliberately not. Um, I've already got the sentiment lay, uh, on a block. Oh, I have no brain either apparently. Um, so let me grab Highland Heather ink. All will become apparent in a moment. And on the inside of my card I'm going to ink that up and pop it in the middle and there we go that's all I need that for don't need that I will clean that up after I've finished so all we need to do now is colour in our lady and um, one of the reasons I went on to do the stamping for the inside of the card was to make sure that the memento ink is completely dry. Um, right, I'm going to actually not use that, I'm going to use Light Flirty Flamingo, just other end, just to add a little bit of colour to her cheeks and her lips. And then I'm going to come in with the ivory blend, which is fantastic for skin tones. And colour her in. That, this actually dies, dries even back a little lighter. Most of the colours do. Then her fingers. That's all I need that for. Now I'm thinking she's possibly got dyed hair. So I'm going to um, go with yellow. This is light so saffron. I 
I love these stamps because they've got shading in them already so it makes them really easy. Now you could obviously use your um, Stamping Right markers. Just be a little careful when you're adding colour that you don't pill the paper, by which I mean bring it up from the base of the um, of the card. You can break the fibres down. I'm going to use the same Flirty Flamingo for her flower. And I'll just put a dot of the So Saffron in the middle, just so that it's coloured. And then I'm going to use, I think we'll use the Light Highland Heather for her dress. I'm thinking of someone who maybe is growing old, not so much gracefully as disgracefully, and basically doing what they want. Because why not? I know I'm certainly planning on growing old disgracefully, if I haven't already started growing old disgracefully. And then, purely because I can, I'm going to use the Dark Highland Heather for her leggings. And then the ivory again for either it's her feet or ballet slippers. And then a bit of light grey granite for the ground. And then, oh, I have got somewhere, hmm, somewhere on my desk, I have got. There they are, hiding um, some glitter dots, which are actually in gorgeous grape, but you know, it's similar. So I'm going to just add, I'm going to, I've got another packet as well, so I'm going to just add, actually, I might put them at the top. I'm going to add one. Two. And then my new packet, or newer packet, a small one. I do like my threes. There we go. So, some glitter dots then. Are you ready for this? Highland, whoops, Highland Heather base. Or matte, I should say. And it's a very, very narrow margin. There we go. And then, so saffron. Because we've already used so saffron, so I thought we'd continue to use so saffron and it also means that you only need the subtles cards um, pack which has two of each of the ten subtle colors uh, and then some whisper white so it's quite a nice inexpensive way of doing cards and then some more snail for our liner now, as a tip, and some of you will have heard me say this before, I generally do not stick my liners in until I've written on them, uh, because then if I make a boo-boo, uh, which knowing me I'm probably going to, um, I can just replace this before it's stuck in. So there we go, a quick, easy card. Nine and a half minutes, there you are, using Beautiful You which is an older set, and our nice new On To Adventure, which I think is fantastic because it's for the older generation and it covers both men and women. So what's not to love about that? So thank you very much indeed. Do remember to come back this afternoon for the blog hop. 
there will be some amazing masculine cards so not to be missed if you've enjoyed this video please give it a th thumbs up if you are new to my channel and would like to subscribe there's a button in the bottom right hand corner questions or comments you can leave below uh, there's a link to the blog post for this in the description bar below as there is to the products that I've used in my online store which is great if you're in the UK it would be fantastic if you um, if you were to purchase from me and if you've got a big order please 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 do not place it as an order get the starter kit it's no obligation and it means you get extra stuff because it's the extra extra promotion until the end of uh, August thank you very much indeed and I look forward to seeing you again this afternoon or very soon.